Hello friends, this is Amit from Channel Grow Together. Today I'm going to go over uh, Quest Trade versus Wealth Simple. So when I was when I started investing in stocks, ETFs myself, it was really hard to decide what uh, platform I want to use myself. But uh, today I'm going to cover the key points if you are just starting uh, into investing yourself, which platform is better for you in order to save on fees and minimum charges or what funds are required so i'm gonna cover those points in this video first uh, quest trade versus wealth simple so in quest trade you need a minimum thousand dollar investment first time when you're starting and in wealth simple you can start with the zero so there is no minimum uh, uh, investment to open the account whereas quest trade you have to invest thousand dollar first time when you're starting so as far as the commission is uh, for trading is for etfs uh, on quest trade if you are buying an etf it's totally free you can buy etf whereas when you sell those etfs there is a minimum charge 4.95 dollar to maximum of uh, 9.95 whereas on the wealth simple side it's totally free so buying and selling there is no commission on that and if we talk about uh, stocks uh, in quest trade buying and selling for stock is 4.95 minimum 9.95 is the maximum whereas on wealth simple side uh, it's uh, buying and free uh, buying and selling is totally free so there is no charge for buying the stock or selling the stock which is really helpful when you're starting out and if you just want to uh, save on the fee side and then you don't know how much you want to uh, start with so you want to start with $100 or $200 you can start with Wealth Simple really easy and the account types uh, definitely on Quest Trade side you have more options but you are just, when you're starting I think you're going to use either Personal finance is TFSA or RSP. Same as with Wealth Simple, uh, there is a, all those three accounts are available. But if you look on to Questrade side, they have more options available. You can uh, op, uh, trade under RESP account as well. They have options where you can buy bonds, GIC, or the other options. If you want to trade in uh, precious items. Uh, precious metals you can do under quest trade whereas wealth simple that is not available for now and if we look on to the inactivity fee so in quest trade if you have less than thousand dollar and you don't uh, do any trading for one quarter so there is 24.95 dollars of uh, fee charge if there is a uh, no activity on the account i think you can get that reimbursed but i'm not 100 percent sure on that if you do trades in next few months they will reimburse that 24.95 but if you have minimum thousand dollar in the account you need not to worry about that fees but on the wealth simple side there is no fee for inactivity fee you can have that account and you can invest as per your comfort whenever you want to do that uh next is canadian slash u.s stock so you can both you can buy us or canadian stocks on both the platform only difference being is uh quest trade if you're going to use use it for canadian and us stock whereas if you want to use wealth simple i would say that keep it uh for uh, canadian stocks only i'll cover that in uh, next point why it's good to have uh, quest trade for canadian and us stock whereas uh wealth simple just for canadian stocks so convert uh, currency conversion whenever you trade whenever you buy us stock let's say you buy for a thousand dollar there is a two percent fee with quest trade whereas with the wealth simple it's 1.5 percent which seems lower as compared to uh, as compared to uh, quest trade but the problem here is that if uh, if we uh, convert the funds to buy U.S. stock in, in Quest Trade. Whenever you're buying, uh, like you know, let's say you bought a stocks for thousand dollar, you converted it once, and it stays in the U.S. funds as long as you have the funds there. And whatever dividend you receive, it adds up to onto your U.S. fund side. Whereas in Wealth Simple, they don't hold U.S. dollar in your account, so everything is holding in Canadian stock. So whenever you receive dividend. 
uh, whatever the US dividend will be, it will be converted into Canadian dollar and you will get charged 1.5% fee. So which is higher. If you are if you have a stock that pays dividend every month, you have to pay 1.5% for that dividend received for every month. Whereas on the Quest Trade, if you receive dividend in US uh, dollars, it's going to stay there as uh, US dollar. There is no conversion for that. So from that point of view, Quest Trade is better for US stock investment. And as far as the platform, so Quest Trade was available before desktop app desktop and in app as well whereas well simple was available on the app only but now they have launched their desktop version as well the next is a uh, code so the pricing for the stocks on quest trade is real time as soon as the price goes up or down you can see that real time there whereas well simple there is a 15 minute delay when the price go up and down so i'm using wealth simple what i do when i have to place an order for wealth for a stock on wealth simple platform what i'll do is i'll check the price on yahoo finance app because it uh it reflects the price real time so you can use that when you're placing an order and you can use limit buy where you can set the price at what price you want to buy the stock for so that you don't uh, like if there is a price fluctuation and you wanted to buy it for two dollars but now it's two two dollars ten cents so limit buy helps you keep that cost whatever you want to pay for that stock if you want to know more about wealth simple uh, platform how to buy stocks i'll uh, leave a link in description for the other video that i have done for wealth simple and if you have liked the video please click thumbs up and subscribe there is a referral link in the description as well which you can use to get a bonus uh, uh, money when you open a new account with wealth simple or quest trade thank you